All right, so we're in the process of taking this pump off. Just these two bolts right here. Mikey's taking one out. Mikey's now taking out the other one. This is when ratcheting wrenches would be a really good, nice touch in my box, my collection. No way. Oh, get on there. There you go. I hope not. No, it's gonna take a few more. It's gonna take some pressure to pull that off. All right. Now those bolts are off. Mikey's gonna grab a pry bar of some sort. He's gonna get up in here and he's gonna pry that bitch off. Pardon my language, I'll edit that out. Maybe. And he's gonna use a scraper, see if he can get in there in the edge. See how it's already a little loose? He might be able to just try and pull that thing off. Yep, looks like he's moving. Yeah, some leeway. Yep, and he's just pulling it out. See, it doesn't even take a lot. Mike's gonna start pulling back. As you can see, it's starting to come out and he's gonna let it swing and drop right to the ground. All right, now, as we're up here, we're gonna be inspecting both sides of this component. I'm gonna look up in here. And we're gonna see, you know, is there anything damage wise? You know, this, that, and the other, all the fanciness. It's splined inside there. You can see, a bunch of grease. So that's the PTO. PTO, pump. PTO, pump. Pump, PTO. There you go. Alright, so on this, I keep blinding Mikey. Yes, you do. Alright, so the identification number. Alright, so this is a Parker upside down my phone has a hard time focusing but if you could see it says it's a Parker with commercial, commercial hydraulics and part number on this is a PGP 020 or a PGM 020 and those are basically two different part numbers in case you gotta replace different components that are from a different name brand or whatever the case may be on that we're going to do some inspections maybe video it up and then uh, we'll get back with you when we install it back in